Where you been? Fixed gate over in Topfield. I thought you did that yesterday. Aye, well, it fell off again. Did you seek fire? What fire? Over at White Gate Head. No. Yeah, John spotted it. It was us rang 999. Not that nobody will thank us. What have you done to your hand? No. Want to get that scene to? She wants to get that scene to. Lambs haven't done very well. I'm more being sold on for fattening than slaughter. Hugs and all. More of them going for chop than you'd want. Ah, uh, well, you shouldn't buy such shite stock. Ah, uh, well, it's money though, ain't it? He knows. He does his best, whatever you think. You're a dickhead and all. You can earn twice as much somewhere else. Uh, it's all about money though. It's been very good to me. That's a burn, Carol. It's blistered. Is it? How's your granddad? A bit better, yeah? She's not even sent a card, has she, eh? Your mother. She's not interested. We might as well not exist, any of us. We might as well be dead. Well, come on in. What are you making? No. You have to carry on, though, haven't you, eh? Hey, not for me. Cos there's one thing damn certain. If you don't keep your scent together, no other bugger will. You doing out tonight? Carol? No, don't think so. Only well, thought I might go for a drink down fleece. If you're not doing out. Do you know any good jokes? She could want dagging before New Year. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to try harder than that. Will you go out with me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I just... I know you've been a bit down on that since your mum left. And obviously, <laughs> me asking you to go out with me might not be something that you'd want. But if it was, it'd mean a lot to me. Kiss me. What? Kiss me. What, here? Yeah. I can't. Why not? Not here. Do you want me to? No, not if... It, it isn't that I don't want to. No, it's fine. I didn't realise. What? You felt the same way. <laughs> Got Land Rover outside. Have you? Do you want a shag? Yeah, all right. Come on, then. What are you doing?
pregnant. You won't. Can you? Ow! You missed. Can you not? Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Oh shit. Have you? Shit. Sorry. But it doesn't matter, John. Honestly. John. We're going back to the pub then, or what? Imagine she twat. Yeah, well, you know. Hello? Hi. Hi. I brought you some. Coming in. I can't stop. Young lad! I brought you all a bit of something for. Oh, you shouldn't have. No. Well, that's for Lisa. For you. Open it. With my mother's. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it, eh? Right. Well, I'd best. Uh... Oh, stop and have a drink. I can't. I've left my granddad in car. Well, I'll at best then. Yeah. See ya. John. I can't. What? Take this. Not if it were your mother's. Why? Why don't you give it to me next Christmas if you still feel the same? I want you to have it now. Yeah, I know you do. I appreciate that, but... Look, Carol, I know last night went brilliant, but it still meant a lot to me, and it'll get better. It will. And I, I want to give you something special. Last night, I was behaving like a twat. And I'm really fond of you, but... I wish we hadn't. I'm not good enough for you. You're a thousand times better than me. You don't deserve me. Nobody does. Why are you saying that? You don't know me. You think you do, but you don't. I'm bad. I do things. Things you wouldn't... Carol. I can't go out with you. Don't give me this. It's too nice. Calm down. He told me to. No, we'd never manage on his own. Shouldn't have stayed away. No, it were only drink talking. i will see to the animals. How's after? Will he be all right? And they'll do tests and so forth. Is there anyone you should get in touch with? His wife or Carol? It's been a long time. I wouldn't want to start looking. I did hear she were in prison, Carol. What about the little girl? I don't know. I'd better get going. Yeah, thanks for... Go, oh, sure. Evening. I need to get in touch with somebody. 
somebody we've not seen for five years. Anytime, cock. Carol. John. Lisa. I've not set out to him about you coming. He didn't sound right definite on the phone, so. Where is he? Upstairs. Right. Is that yours? It's a company car. Oh. She owns company. Of course, some still have to be convinced. I don't reckon much at all. We have we've told our car uh. what we think about it. Oh dear. The visitor to see you. Provincial house will be oh. blown up on September the first, and the new curb building will rise next year. Carol. Spencer Stokes reporting for BBC Radio. Got some tea. Yeah, tea, thanks. No. You seeing anybody? No. Are you? No. What about Carol? She's out with your leave, mate. She always was. Is he all right? Who's his doctor? Is it still... Dr Lawton. Uh, and there's the still... Over at White Gatehead. He's married. Your mate, Andrew. They live there with his mum and dad. They moved in a month back, him and his wife. He teaches down at Sorby Bridge. He's expecting a baby. What about me dad? I've told him to take it steady. I'm running place. I don't mind, but I can't do it forever. I work for Broadbent's now, down in Ebden. They've offered him a flat, social services. He won't take it. Don't blame him. Trouble is, shot of a miracle, he ain't got much choice. Thought it were a dump when you lived here. It's a damn sight worse now. I'll pay you. You don't need it, Carol, believe me. You've got a very nice life somewhere else. You don't need this. I can turn this place around and I'll do it on my own if I have to. That was your granddad. He died. Did he? I'm sorry, when? Last October. A blessing, really. Got his house. Did you? Paid 2000 for it back in 1969. It's worth 85 now. Ooh. Well, that's what next door but one went for. He's rich. Why would you want to come back here? Either of you. Why won't we? What about your business? My business can take care of itself. What is it that you do, exactly? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Go on. I import bananas. <laughs> told you. They'll be glad to see back of her for a few weeks. She's a dragon. All right, look. I can help out evenings and I get a day off. So... It's a deal. I want you to go through stock with me. I want to know exactly where we're at with everything. You'd be better talking to your dad. Sulking. Oh, right, OK. And then when we've gone through that, I want you to make a start on drains. There's a dozen either blocked or broken. Then walls. There's at least three weeks' worth of work there. There's thistles in every field once stubbing. Ant moles. Half the gates are falling off. I told you it were a shit hill. Aye, well, you're all right. Where's your nice car? Oh, I'm not leaving it here. Might get mucky. Didn't like going poor little sods out with truck in case anyone laughed at him. <laughs> shit off. You shit off, you miserable bastard. You think you're not on, you're not out. Oh, is that right? And if you're on bank, in this state? Make your own bloody phone call. Oh, we have a deal. I'm not working my backside off for you, so if I were you, I'd get cracking. <whistles> Oi! 
Wait, did you hear what I said? Excuse me? Hello, did you hear what I said? I'm damned if I'm taking orders off you. Oh, is that right? Well, I think that you should just bite the bullet and do everything I tell you to do. I think if I tell you to stand on your head and fight, God save the Queen, that's exactly what you should do. And because if you don't, I might just nip down to the police station and tell them all about what you used to do to me. Is it like that? I haven't got any evidence, is it? <laughs> How does it feel, eh? Getting treated like shit just for being here. Come on. Let's get you inside. To sleep. I'm not here to referee between you and your dad. Any more of that and I'm off. I know we were a bastard to you, but it's a long time ago and he ain't well. And I'm not sticking up for him, I just think people have to move on from things for their own good sometimes. And there's no point you being here if Things like that. <laughs> Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He that believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Stick it up your ass. Sorry, I was just eating my tea. Sorry. Come in. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. No, it's fine. I won't keep you. No. Sit down. Our only passing, only... Do you want a cup of tea? Um... Are you all right? Do you want to marry me? Is this a joke? No, no, it's not a joke. It's... They're going to take a farm off me. Who is? A state, bank. He hasn't been paying the interest on his loan. Where are we going? Run out of milk. I need to do repairs. If we can do repairs, then they'll keep tenancy going. But I can't do repairs because there's no money. So you want me to... Well, you've always wanted your own farm, haven't you? Well, now's your chance. What about all your money? I haven't got any money. But that car, your company... I hired the car. There is no company. I've been working in a supermarket. We've been living in a council flat in Leeds. 
After we left, we drove to Bridlington. We got by for a couple of weeks, but then I got caught stealing. I got three months. Lisa got put in care. When I got out, um, I got offered flat, then job, then I got Lisa back. It took a bloody long time and it was hard work, but I did it. And now I've got this chance, this one chance, John, to do something important. So you want me to sell my house and put money into your farm? Yeah. I don't know, Carol. Why? Why not? You know I've always liked you, don't you? Yeah. But you've never felt like that about me. I won't miss you about, John. What about your boyfriend? What about him? He's married, he's got a kid, he's not my boyfriend. You still think about him? If you do this for me, John, I promise I'll be the best wife anybody ever had. What do you think about it? Yeah. I'll... Yeah. This mate of mine, a bloke I work with at Broadbent's, he once said if ever I sold the house, he wouldn't mind first refusal. So if he's still interested, I could probably sell it quite quickly. Yes! Bloody hell, Carol. We've got four weeks, at least to get it started and show me mean business. And a lot of this we can do ourselves, walls, fences, pointing. How definite is it that they'll renew tenancy if you get these repairs done? Well, it's definite. I got it in black and white, look. They don't like evicting people, even us. It's more bother for them to kick us off than it is to let us stay. So, I put my money in, but legally you own everything? No, we'll be partners. The livestock, the machinery, everything, it'll all be half yours. But you're legal tenant. Yeah, well, I can't change that. But we'll be married. That's the guarantee legally, that's the closest we can get. I'd always hoped, if I were to get married, that there'd be kids. Well, happen not straight away. But eventually? Yeah. Yeah, eventually. So, there will be. Sex. Yeah, of course. Right. Well, what we're going to tell Lisa? Lisa. Hi, Cheryl. What? You know me and John. Yeah. We're getting married. Who to? That's when I started the Avalanche. The five minutes and I'll get a phone. Okay. Total surprise. I saw a block of snow rolling down. Should I sit a bit closer? Yeah, you can do. Scott was yelling green I can hear him and I can see him. Do you want another cup of tea? No, I'm fine, thanks. And I was just frozen. Should we? Hold well hands. The first thing that made me realize that this was an avalanche was when I started moving up the mountain. It felt like brick. Energy postcode, love. HX73KL. Right. Your name is? Ralph John Standring. Date of birth? 7 11 1970. Okay, that quiet. And address? Mind you, I would. 44 Elizabeth Street. Sod off.
making some tea. Is she? I was passing, thought I'd knock on the door and got roped in. Hi, I'm Becky Lawton, Andrew Lawton's wife. Oh, sorry, how do you do? I'm John Standrin. Um, I work here. Do you like it, boss? It's... I found tin under the sink. It's very red. Nice haircut. I put kettle on. I'm sorry, I didn't realise you didn't have your permission, otherwise I wouldn't have... Uh... It's fine. Well, congratulations. Sorry? Well, Lisa told me that you're getting married. Oh. Did she? Have you fixed a date? Three weeks on Saturday. Wow. You can come if you like. Oh, well, thanks. We'd be delighted. Lisa says she's struggling with her maths. Sorry? Well, I can help her with that if you like. It's what I do. Did. Teach maths. Right. Morning. You're turning her into a prostitute. What are you talking about? So what does that make you? What are you doing here? Nothing. You're not going to make a fool out of me, are you, Carol? No. No. What? We're kidding ourselves. This time next year, we could hate sight of each other. We won't. I won't. I'll have spent all my money. You'll be wishing you were with somebody else. I will not, John. It's all fixed up. We've bought things. You had your hair cut. I don't know what's brought this on. Your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. He said something. What did he say? John? John! He said you were making a prostitute out of yourself. Did he? And is that what you think? Because if that's what you think, if... When we have sex, if that's what you'll be thinking, you might as well piss off now. Right now, go on. What will you be thinking when we're having sex? Will it be something that you'll want? Or will it be something you'll put up with because I give you some money? John. You're kidding yourself. We're both there. I'm going home. Is that it, then? Is that it, then? What's up? What's happened? That beef on the sow is quite weak, and it's these claws which do all of the damage. And like many birds of prey, they keep from the ability to not prey. So once it's grabbed hold of something, it stabs it with these four massive... Can I come in? I've always been fond of you. We were always friends, weren't we? Calling it prostitution is just like the nastiest way of looking at it anybody could come up with. You want to help me? And in return, I can give you things. I can make you happy. And that is not prostitution. I don't want to be on my own all my life. Well, then. I've been really happy the last few days. I just want to be sure it's going to last more than five minutes. That's up to us, isn't it? Do you still think about him? Yeah. Yeah, I do, but... Thing is, it doesn't just go away, does it? Stuff like that. Part of me always will probably think about him, but he's done what he's done. He's made his decision, and he's got his own family now. I don't want to think about him. I want to think about this, about us. I want to think about farm and all the things we're going to do to it. I can't be any more honest with you than I've been, John. Morning. 
Alright, cop. Smile. Hold hands. Mr. Stammering, Miss Bolton, would you like to come through, please? I, Carol Bolton, take thee, Ralph John Standring, to be my lawful wedded husband. Congratulations. Thanks. Carol! Carol! Lisa knows. She told Becky yesterday she's seen her birth certificate and she knows. And she's worked out that I'm a dad. What's he talking about? I thought you'd want to know that she knew, only she didn't dare tell you herself. What's he saying? Lisa. She's mine. And is? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Because I never told anyone. Carol. Go away. Carol. Go away. This is nice. We could put this in the bedroom. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you? Never think you can't tell me things. Winning ways I'm not really watching this, are you? No, not really. Should we go upstairs? Good evening. A report in a Sunday newspaper says that Prince Harry had... Carol. What does he want? I'll leave her. I'll leave her and the baby. Come with me, let's go. Now. Anywhere. Why don't you just turn around and go back where you came from? I'm not going anywhere. I think you should. Not without Carol. I don't want to hurt you, all right? I don't want any bother. I just want you to leave. Come with me. 
Chicago. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Get away from him! Just, just be careful what you're doing with that. Get away from him! Who started it? Yeah, well, I'm finishing it. Shift! <laughs> Get into your car and go home. Come with me, Carol. No. Get into your car and go home. Not without you. You can. Come on, Carol. If we don't do it now, we never will. Go home. Dark days of the hooligan. How exciting happened today? No. No, I don't think so. What you done to your face? Should have seen what to the fellow looked like. Hello? Hello, Paul Lawton here. Who are you? It's Carolyn, please. Who is it? What's it to do with? Andrew, my son. Have you seen him at all today? Only... No. Who is it? Is that Carol? Can I speak to her? You tell him to stay away from here in future. We need to find him, but... Who was it? Nobody. Who was it? His dad. What did he want? Nothing. Oh, what did he say? Forget it. You've got nothing to do with us. Carol. Carol! Let's go home. 